Hi, welcome to another edition of Cool Training Videos. Today, we're going to learn how to use MAME. MAME is an acronym for Multi Arcade Machine Emulator. What this can do is it can emulate multiple arcade machines. What does that mean for us? That we can play all those coin-op games that we wanted to in the 80s but didn't have the change for. Let me show you how this works. Now, I'm going to go to MAME.net at first. This is where the uh, original release is. It tells a little history here about the release if you want to check it out. And I'm going to go to the main downloads area. Now, this is a command line version. And what that means is I have to go into DOS and load my ROMs through DOS. And it's a little bit more difficult maybe to use. Now, there are other ports or front ends that you can use that are a little bit easier to use. Now, this uh, uh, version is my favorite, main 32, but there are lots of versions. And notice that a lot of these are for different platforms. Some of these are even for other things like a Dreamcast or a uh, old Amiga or almost anything, even handheld devices like a Sony Ericsson cell phone. So MAME has been ported to a lot of different uh, devices and there are a lot of different front ends. One of my uh, other favorite uh, front ends is 3D Arcade where you can actually build your own three-dimensional arcade. You can download the little artworks for the different ones and you can walk around there in 3D and you can hear the sounds of the arcade. It's very nice. You walk up to it, you double click on the game you want to play and it loads it through MAME. Uh, we're going to use MAME32 which is my favorite distribution or front end. What this does, it basically sits on top of main the command line and it acts as a graphic user interface so here's the download a little warning about the download you have to uh, register with uh, GameSpy or File uh, Planet. Uh, you may already have a login there to actually download it. You may try doing some searches on the internet maybe to find a different download location if you don't want to sign up for those services. Uh, they are free. Uh, sometimes you have to wait in line. So maybe a little Google search on that to get it a little bit quicker. I already have it downloaded right here as a zip file and I've unzipped it to this folder. Now what I'm going to do is name this folder something better like main 32, right? More appropriate here than the, just the version. Whoops. All right, inside the folder you see are some different folders in here along with the executable binary that we need that will help us uh, run things from the command line. Now, I want to say something about these folders. There's a folder like artwork and cabinets and flyers and uh, things like samples. What this is, is you can download the different artwork that used to be on the side of um, on the side of the arcade machine and when you're browsing through your uh, through your um, different ROMs you can show the artwork for that particular uh, for that particular arcade game. Maybe even know what the cabinet style was because some some games had different, uh, different uh, styles. So a lot of different folders in here, but the really the one we want to concentrate on is the ROMs folder. So I'm going to go into the ROMs folder. And now I've done a Google search uh, on uh, a Google search for MAME ROMs, and I came up with the number one result was a ROM site where you can type in a search for just about any ROM. And you'll get multiple. Uh, selections, uh, some for different things. Maybe there's another emulator, maybe that emulates old hardware like uh, an old Atari 2600. So watch out for that you get the main version of the game. You can download that file and keep it as a zip file. So here I have an old game, Galaga, and I'm going to stick it in my ROMs folder, and then I'm going to launch my main 32. Now, Main32 is going to show a big list of uh, games here. So, uh, even though I, if I go here and I go to the Galaga section, uh, I don't show really any Galagas that, that are there. That's because I haven't audited my ROMs yet. So, I'm going to go to File, Audit All Games. Now, this may take a second, so... All right, we've got an error, but that's okay. Uh, it may or may not affect our gameplay. It does say one correct, so that should play. If I look at my list here, yep, I see that one of the Galagas, so something like that. There's a lot of different Galagas here. Notice that. So I may need a different ROM to play different ones. Um, one of my favorite is the Fast Shoot. Now I'm going to close this, which means now that I can play that Galaga ROM. So I'm going to jump to that Galaga ROM. And I'm going to go ahead and double click it and start it. 
Press any key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to use, uh, the tilde key for the volume, so if I need to turn up and down the volume, that's your tilde key, upper left hand corner of your keyboard. The tab key, this is the most important, brings up all your inputs. So you can pay, put your general inputs, which usually be defaulted for every game, or your input this game. So I'm going to input this game, and I can go down here and tell it which is going to be my right, my left, player one down, uh, player one button one, player one button two. So um, right now these are left, up, downs are set. So what you do is you hit enter and then you hit your key and you wait a second because it takes a second for it to come in sometimes. And you can do yours. So I'm going to set my keys here. Up and button one. I'll do control. Button two. Whoops. Window key. Can't use your window key. And I'll have to set that to shift. Result. All right, now I don't change the default for player one start is one, and the coin in is uh, uh, five and six, seven and eight. So basically, there's one, two, three, and four player start. Five, six, seven, and eight uh, is the um, is the uh, starts for those players. So, like if you're playing Gauntlet or something, you have your four different coin slots for the different players that are in Gauntlet. And yes, you can play lots of different players. So. Let's give this a try. I'm going to put some coins in. And I'm going to hit one to one player start. And, ooh, I put a lot of coins in. Boy, imagine what that would have cost me. Too bad you can't find these games anymore anyway. If you can find these games, boy, I think I'd still like to play it in a stand-up uh, version. There we go. So these will keep track of all your high scores and everything. This is a great, great piece of software. All right, guys, so I got you guys started, and uh, you know what to do from here. Have fun using MAME32. Thanks for enjoying uh, the cool training video. See you next time.